Hello everybody, this is Bev here at Clerical Vision and this is going to be a short video just to um, show you what I got for Christmas and what I used my Christmas vouchers on as well. It doesn't take long to spend them right enough. <coughs> um, so yeah, I did put in a request to Santa Claus and he actually, he duly delivered. Um, so I'm totally over the moon. Um, what I had asked for was um, the Starlight box set from Halloween. And here it is. Um, now recently you may have seen Darcy at Six String Nine Lives uh, show this lovely set. Um, so um, I thought what an absolutely <coughs> great way to get all of the early Halloween stuff because I don't have all of it. I've only actually got the two Keepers albums. Um, well I did until now. So um, I'm going to just I'm not going to go through all of this because um, if you go to Darcy's channel, he's gone through the entire thing not that long ago, uh, and you'll be able to see it there. So, but it's um, the Noise Records collection, um, and it's it's a really robust, solid outer box, um, and inside the inside part comes in this kind of. Um, sort of a file style sleeve thing to keep the records all sitting neatly which is another really nice part um, the Def Leppard box set incidentally didn't come with this inner part it's just the albums are still slotted in along with the book um, but to have it sitting in this would have been quite a, a nice touch as well but it's just another of my you know OCD gripes, I guess, if you want to call it that. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, in here you get um, Halloween, the EP, uh, the Judas, it's either an EP or a single, I don't know. Um, the Walls of Jericho, Keepers 1, Keepers 2, the best, the rest and the rare. And you get a large poster of the band from back in the 80s heyday. Um, and you get a pumpkin slip mat for your record player if you so desire to use it. Uh, I probably won't use it actually because I think I've this one I keep it. It's kind of like a, a felty type material, this, um, but there it is. Um, the poster. I'm not going to open it, um, but uh, there it is. And each of these vinyl records is all in a different colour. They're all coloured vinyl and they're all different colour. Um, <coughs> albums or, uh, you know, great artwork. Um, <coughs> what I'm going to do is show you my favourite colour, which is uh, <laughs> Keeper's One, I think, <coughs> if I recall. Um, this... Yeah, it's a kind of a deep pinky whiny uh, grape type, I don't know, raspberry perhaps even colour. Um, so, that, you know, it's transparent, you can sort of see through them a little bit, but that is uh, Keepers Part 1. <coughs> um, so I was really chuffed to bits, obviously. Um, to get this and I will be carefully listening to every single bit. So that was uh, my main gift from Santa. Um, the other things I got for Christmas, <coughs> which were nice surprises actually, um, I got this. This is Big Country, live at Rock Palast. Um, which is the German, one of the German 80s festival gigs that took place each year. Um, now this covers two years, you've got 1986 and 1991 um, and it's, it's, it's a five disc set. You've got two DVDs, one of each of the concerts, and three CDs in the track lists, uh, set lists 
Um, and it's and it is one of these digi style cases, but they've got the five of them. It's pretty nifty how they've done it actually. Um, it is a German pressing, um, that's the German DVD rating thing there. Um, and you, you won't be able to read that probably from here, but yeah, that's the CD and DVD 1, CD and DVD 2, which is all this, and 3. Um, so 2 and 3 are both from the 1991 gig and the first one is the 1986 gig. Um, now this would be them back when they were in their 80s heyday, they were really huge in uh, the 80s, they're really big in Britain and also I think in mainland Europe, particularly Germany was another um, place they were really popular at the time. So, you know, the digipack, it just opens, you've got your booklet in here. Um, and one indication right away that it is a German pressing is the opening text is in German, but um, that's one of Stuart Adamson's uh, guitars, signature guitars of the day. You saw him with this a lot. It's an interesting one, actually. I'm not sure... I haven't quite figured out what the make of that guitar is, but it's an uh, interesting spec it looks to have. Um, nice band pictures there. And this band were so full of energy. If you've not seen any live footage, I encourage you to go back to the 80s and, and have a look. Um, really energetic performances. And there's the English there. So you get the German, but you also get the English um, right up. <coughs> Uh, so the booklet just sits in, and then uh, very cleverly the discs open like a book as well. So that's um, CD1, um, CD2, they're all picture CDs as well. That's DVD, uh, CD3, sorry, <laughs> um, DVD1, and DVD2, and that's you know that um, and the back. Uh, smashing picture there. Uh, Stuart Adamson obviously no longer with us unfortunately. Another one taken too soon but really chuffed to get that so I uh, will enjoy listening and watching that. Uh, and I also got um, Hammerfall, the Legacy of Kings reissue. This is the 20th anniversary edition which was just released this year of this album. This is, uh, I think it was their second one, the follow-up to Glory to the Brave, which um, they've just had an anniversary edition out last year, I think it was, yeah, or two years ago. Um, but this one again, it's a German pressing, and it comes in the sort of box, digi box pack, and it has two CDs and a DVD. So you've got the album remastered, then you've got a, a CD2 has bonus, loads of bonus tracks where you've got uh, demos, rehearsals, there's a cover of I Want Out by Halloween, <laughs> which I <coughs> love that song. Um, they've got a couple of live tracks in here as well, and on the DVD you get a interview about the album. <clears throat> uh, and some live tracks from 1999 uh, and then you get from the first crusade which is got loads of interesting things you've got a listening session you've got a German TV advert then you've got some uh, you've got a cover of head over heels by accept and balls to the walls by accept breaking the law Judas Priest to do a cover of that and then you've got outtakes and stuff um, and the third part of the DVD um, doo -doo 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 -doo, is alive in various parts of the world. Um, now what else um, attracted me to this album as well? On the actual album uh, I noticed that they do a cover of Pretty Maids back to back. Now back to back is on Pretty Maids debut album um, Red Hot and Heavy. Um, so I was curious to know what that sounded like as well. 
<coughs> so lots of good stuff in here. Um, I've opened it and uh, I kept the hype sticker. It tells you all the goodies you get on here. Limited edition box, which is there, and you get a substantial booklet with us. Uh, it's very thick, <coughs> so we've got uh, an introduction from the band. Uh, you've got the track listing, you have the lyrics, uh, you've got thank yous, uh, info about the band. Um, there's their debut album there. Um, and you've got pictures of. Um, I think that's kind of just sort of scribblings about um, cover artwork designs perhaps and song lyrics where things have been handwritten and changed and scored out and uh, just memor pictures of memorabilia um, from days gone by etc. So nice uh, interesting booklet and the other part which is uh, this is the actual digipack itself, which is, it's got a nice glossy finish too. It's nicely made, although I'm not a huge fan of the digipack style myself, I have to confess, but everyone seems to be doing it this way than now, so um, but it's nicely presented. So on the back you've got the CD1 and 2 tracks, and in here you've got the DVD listings, and finally you have all three discs, so album, bonus CD and the DVD. Uh, very good stuff. I've listened to the album already as well and it's really good. I quite enjoy it. Pretty solid stuff from Hammerfall. <coughs> so that was my Christmas presents music wise. Um, so with the vouchers, I got Amazon vouchers and I promptly used them um, and I went and bought this album because this has been on my want list for the year actually and it was reduced in price on Amazon at the moment so I just jumped the gun, uh, jumped in there and pulled the trigger as they say and it's the Michael Schenker Fest uh, Resurrection, his new album with all the various singers, there's about four different singers that he's worked with obviously over the course of time and it is a very good album indeed. There is three sides. Side four is just a plain etched or it's like got a picture graphic thing on it but there's no music on it. Um, I'm not so sure how well you'll be able to read that. Um, but yeah, <coughs> some solid tracks, good riffs, good guitar work on here as you would expect. Um, lovely gatefold picture of Schenker with all the singers and musicians. And they are Rowan McCauley, Graham Bonnet, Gary Barden and Judy White, respectively. And you also get a sort of a, a nice little inner um, picture inner and it's like it opens like a booklet where you have the lyrics inside, which is very cool, and uh, the back picture there, so that's nice, and it's just black vinyl, and um, I'm pretty sure Cloudy Milder showed this recently as well, he's another fan of this album, I know that, um, both vinyl are the same, it's got picture labels which is kind of the same as the album cover um, but excellent stuff so I was very chuffed to get this um, and they do come in polyline sleeves I'm delighted to see uh, this is Nuclear Blast <coughs> and thankfully this arrived in splendid condition I was worried when Amazon when the Amazon box arrived as it was in a gigantic box uh, the record was in a, a record box, but it was in a further box, which was large, and there was no padding inside at this time. Sometimes they have sheets of paper, but they didn't have any of that. It was just lying in, and there was a CD as well, which is the other thing I got with the vouchers. And so they were just rattling about in this big box, but thankfully they weren't damaged, and um, the CD I got was this. 
the mighty priests and Turbo 30. I wanted to get Turbo's 30th uh, anniversary on CD in particular because I wanted the live concert. Um, because you, the bonus CDs you get on here are <coughs> live on the Fuel for Life tour from Kansas City 1986. So I wanted to have that. Um, I have Turbo already on CD and I have my favourite song from the album on 12 inch. Um, and this again is another digipack case and it's the worst kind of digi case to be honest with you, although it's, it's nicely presented etc. Um, it's not got even the plastic casing, um, the CDs are just slid into kind of envelope style sleeves um, which I'm not overly a fan of because of you know um, scratching and things like that. So you've got obviously pictures of the band there on motorcycles from 86 and uh, you get the booklet in the first bit here <coughs> which is basically um, fairly standard and uh, you get a little bit of info in the start telling you about the 30th anniversary and what was going on at the time and you've got the lyrics and band pictures excellent stuff in the classic lineup KK and Glenn what I loved about uh, these guys back in the day as well if you're a guitar buff is um, they played Hamer guitars or Hammer but it's, I think it's pronounced Hamer and um, Hamer were a small company back in the day that uh, was established by some guy called Hamer and Joel Danzig, Danzig who um, a guitar builder and they, these Hamer guitars were honestly they were quality guitars uh, and a lot of artists endorsed them back in the day but sadly they kind of went out of business. I think Hamer were taken over by Fender in the not too distant past. Um, and like every other guitar brand, they exported, you know, they, their business and they were made uh, in places like Korea and stuff, China, etc. Um, whereas the classic hamers, if you want a, a proper hamer from back in the day, you need the hamer USA kind of 70s, 80s models. That's the holy grail of that guitar brand. But anyway, that was a... A bit of a side story there, but there is the main album, Picture Disc. Good stuff. <coughs> and obviously the live CDs, I'll just show you the third one. Oops. Um, so they all kind of got a bit of a, a pattern. So that is basically my uh, Christmas goodies. And I'm not sure when this will be uploaded. Um, I'm recording it today on Hogmanay actually, or New Year's Eve, uh, if you're not in Scotland. <laughs> so last day of the year, um, but I'm having internet issues at the moment. I'm switching providers or, or whatever, um, so I've got a bit of downtime. I've only got Wi-Fi and I'm finding without the, the Ethernet cable, it's just useless at trying to upload. So I'll uh, get some recorded and I'll probably just... Once I'm back up and running, which I think is about a week's time, because I'm, I'm getting fibre put in. Hopefully that'll improve things a bit as far as speed goes as well. Um, hopefully I'll get them up uh, a couple of videos at a time maybe. So, Meanwhile, enjoy yourself if you're uh, doing any New Year festivity things tonight and um, tomorrow. Stay safe, enjoy yourself and I'll speak to you all later. Take care, bye!